what if someone described you as a perfect Christian? What would be your response? Now, if you're like most Christians, you probably would respond by saying, no, you know, we are striving for perfection, but we have not yet attained it. But if that is the case, why is it Jesus said, be perfect as our heavenly father is in, as our heavenly father? Now, if Jesus would require us and tells us that we are supposed to be perfect, then it must be attainable. Wouldn't you agree? I want to suggest to you that to reach the state of perfection, is attainable not in the life to come not just in the life to come but in this life because many times we put consider perfect perfection when we're going to heaven no we can attain perfection in this life you see the problem is not with the goal of being perfect but the problem is with most Christians understanding of the goal for example, if I ask you, define what does it mean to be perfect? Chances are your definition would be, and according to the Webster's online dictionary, it says that being in a state of flaw, to be flawless, right? That is probably how you would describe perfect. But in the Webster's dictionary, online dictionary, you can go and look at it. The word perfect has a meaning that is now considered to be obsolete. So they no longer use this meaning, ascribe this meaning to this word. And that is to be mature. Yes, you get it right. You can go and check it out for yourself. Webster's Dictionary say that perfect has an absolute meaning to be mature. So when the Bible, or King James Version at least, was being translated from the, the Greek and the Hebrew or, well, actually it was in Latin, then they translated from Latin to English. But nevertheless, when it was being translated, when the translator used the word perfect, they had in mind that perfect meant mature. And the Greek word that is used in Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 13 that says till we all come into in the unity of the faith and unto the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man the Greek word that is used there and I'll put it up on the screen so that you can see it and you can do your research for yourself it says complete in various application in various application of labor growth mental and moral character and at the end you see completeness, a full age, man, perfect. In other words, you realize it is speaking to maturity. And if you consider that, hey, most of the scriptures, when it's, or at least some of the scriptures, when it speaks about being perfect, it was speaking about a state of maturity. Then you realize then that perfection is possible. Think about it. Why would God say, have thou considered my servant Job, a one that is perfect? Job was not without faults. He had some flaws. And if you listen to my video about why Job went through the things that he went through, you realize he had some flaws. However, it was when Job understood what he did wrong, he, did it, he responded like a mature Christian. He acknowledges sin. He has a forgiveness. And he moved on. He didn't go back down that path again. So maturity is quite possible for us as Christians. But hey, I know most of you may be concerned. Hey, but if it is that perfect is really speaking about maturity and there is 124 different times that perfect is mentioned in the Bible and that is not including the various tense of the word so to go through every different scripture uh, that may not be possible for now <laughs> we would need our 
Bible app to look at the different words and a lot more time. But nevertheless, looking at this, we may think about it and say, hey, in, not in every scripture where we see perfect, the understanding of maturity doesn't seem to fit. For example, let's look at Revelation chapter 2, no, Revelation chapter 3 and verse 2. And it says, be watchful and strengthen the things that re which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. Now, maturity doesn't seem to fit into that scripture. And you, you would be right. Because the word perfect has a multiple meaning. It could mean mature as we, well, at the time when it was translated into English, Mature is one of the definition. It could mean flawless and it could also mean complete. And there's some few little differences and meaning that is ascribed to the word. If you go online, you can check it all. Now, so the context of the scripture kind of determines the definition of the word, if you understand what I mean. One word can have different meaning depending on the context that it is used, the meaning change. And also, not every case where we see the word perfect is this the same Greek word or Hebrew word that is used. It is different. And, you know, the, 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 the meaning can change slightly. But nevertheless, we're not going down that rabbit hole. What I just want to bring out to you so you can understand that to be perfect means to be mature in the Christian context of the Bible. And therefore, it is possible for you to be there. I mean, who has not heard some Bible study or some preaching, some sermon about that we need to be mature? Hey, it's just different words. But it has a similar meaning. And I'm telling you this because... Most Christians, I, I understand that just lacks the knowledge. But I feel that there's something deeper to this that the enemy is at work because he wants us to be in a state where we're immature as Christians. He doesn't want us to grow. And the Bible let us know that because of lack of knowledge, the people of God perish. And I want to ensure that you are growing, we are growing as the children of God. As the body of Christ because when we go we can overcome the enemy and we can have the victory so I'm just sharing this with you so now your mindset can change to think about it you can be mature and you should be mature as a Christian now I hope this teaching has been a blessing to you I would love to hear your feedback in the comments below tell me about it did you ever thought about perfect being mature? Maybe you have known about it before. Let me hear in the comment section. And I have a lot more videos like this coming out to help the body of Christ to grow, to become mature. And if you're interested in these videos, then I recommend you subscribe to this channel. And also, please turn on your notifications so you can know when new videos have come out. And one final thing, don't keep this knowledge to yourself. Share it with someone so they can also grow. Until the next video, God bless you.